Welcome everyone, how are you doing? I'm your host Malgaris. Welcome back to Forts. We are playing the campaign of the second DLC High Seas, of course on hard difficulty. Let's hop right into it. Somewhere on the high seas. Press any key to oh. press any key to continue. Oh, it's pretty nice. Max! <clears throat> Wait, I gotta get an adequate voice for this one. Max, how are you, my boy? It warms this old heart of mine to see you. Bad, couldn't be better. I just received my first commission and signed on board to UNS Defiant. Incredible, isn't it? And signed, your mother would be so proud. And you? Max, you wouldn't believe how busy I've been. Just between us, I'm on my way to a top secret energy project. It's going to change the world. Oh, that's great. Uh, well done. Thanks. Just because I'm one of the world's top scientists, they said they couldn't do it without me. There! Captain Mary, what's going on? We're under attack! Battle stations! Son, I've got to go, but remember, I... Dad? Max, dang it, he's gone. Never mind that, we've got bigger fish to fry. Oh, we're just starting out hot and heavy. I'm liking this already. Oh, sick. Captain Mary, what's happening? It seems these pirates have gotten it into their heads that they alone can sail these waters. You definitely did the wrong place, mosques. This insult needs to be remedied. Oh, hand over your cargo and your ship. These waters, these international waters, these are international waters, as we are on a scientific mission. Stand down and allow us passage. Cargo first. No chance. Have it your way. Prepare to be crippled and aborted. All hands on deck. We need to take out this reactor to sink the ship. Reactors power ships, as they do regular forts. Anything not connected to a reactor will sink. This was covered in basic training, but it doesn't hurt to hear it again. Thank you, Professor. And don't get them wet. They don't react too well being dropped in the water. Yes, I know. Also, smokestacks generate energy. If left uncovered, you should build some. I plan to. Now, these propellers, they filter out minerals in the water and turn them into metal. Amazing! Incredible. One might find it hard to believe such a thing was even possible. And yet it is. Ah, the magic of science. Do you know how I came up with the concept? I did not. Consider me informed. Tell me, do you know how to deal with a ship being on fire? No, I don't believe I do. Then please get below decks while we deal with this place. Uh, of course, Captain. Okay, crew. Let's put out this fire and deal with this pirate threat. To refresh our mission objective ladder. Battle stations. Alright, let's get busy. Build a propeller, build a smokestack, destroy pirate ship. Yes, obviously. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, they're also building up their economy. They're already one smoke sack ahead of us. So let's see our arsenal. Oh, we got basic weaponry. Let's start building up. Oh, we already completed an objective. I'm going to build you guys a bit higher like this. I'm going to start building my smoke stacks up here. Uh, 
that's one. Okay, these propellers are responsible for our metal generation and these smoke stacks are responsible for energy generation. If you notice, it's like a bit reversed because in the standard forts you get the mines which you build few of which generates metal and you get windmills which you build a lot of to get energy and here it is reversed, you build a lot of propellers for metal but you only the few smokestacks for energy because this one alone already ups it to 175 income energy income so let's see what we can do for this one okay these make me think they are building mortars so let's get some anti-air up I'm going to build a sniper over here as our first line of defense also do this right like this so when the shells start raining, we get some protection. Looks like they've begun. I'm also going to sell this off and put a little raid right on the front. That's the fun part about physics based. Because this, in this one in my opinion, physics is more important than ever. Oh, we could deflect and maybe take out that mortar. Or at least the machine gunners. Oh, would you look at that. They got a sniper as well. Well, let's just improve our economy and take him out for the long, the long haul. Anything else? Nope. That's just smokestack. That like deflection and reflection does help out a lot. Let's go to upgrade center. The problem is I don't have any doors. Oh. They got missiles or a nuke ready to go. We do not have the anti-air to deal with that yet. But we will probably have that soon enough. Right. One of those is going to be an AP sniper, and we're also going to build our own silos on the back of this ship. Yeah, so you can basically build those silos in your ship instead of needing foundations for those, which I think is a great feature. That's rude. That's all, it's alright, it's about the game. Okay, now you're being extra rude. Take out that sniper. Ah, I was just a tad too late, that one. Shame. Okay, we'll take Swamp to the face, no problem. Okay, a few of their projectiles got lost in the sauce. Let's get these Swamp missiles out. One, uh, can I squeeze it in here? Yes, I can. Okay. And get this armory up. There we go. And you become an AP snow. You become an AP sniper. Since missiles are predominantly an energy weapon, I mean most weapons are. But missiles, especially. missiles and lasers are, in my opinion, the most energy weapons of the weapons. Let's build up, upgrade those, and make sure they will not be able to harm anyone else. Also, our anti-air is very tight, so I'm not too worried about that either. We can snipe them down with impunity. Okay. We cannot hit their core directly, which is fine. Missile silo level 2. Can we, like, tilt the boat a little bit forward by... Getting some background bracing, there we go. Yes we can. Okay, this one's 
woggling, woggling a little bit. That's fine. Oh, that's pretty nice. They built a sniper, and I missed. Can I upgrade you into a rolling warhead? Yes, I can. Very well, fellas. Okay. Very well done. Ooh, I can also build a flag over here. I see. I see it over here. I can build a flag then. Okay, they are upgrading something. Let's also get some more batteries out. This is a perfect location for flag can, actually. And our second marine warhead. And these are our three stooges, or three warheads, however you want to, however you want to call it. I'm just going to grab you and two little target practice over here. Yeah, none of anti-air, buddy. Okay, put some more weight in the front. Yeah, that's when background basing really becomes useful. I am trying to improve my angle. Okay, this is a good angle. Okay, some friendly anti-air. Let's build you as well. Now there's no chance anything can get through. Let's just build you. Oof, dang it. I was hoping I could take you out without getting anti-air blown. With my anti-air getting blown out of the sky, I can build repair stations, pretty nice. If you have big ships, it's very handy to help you stay protected. Don't say no to protection. That's gonna hurt. Uh oh. Please reach that. Well done, okay. We are chewing we are starting to chew through them. Something over here. Ooh, nice shot. It's not nice enough though. There's plenty more that came from. Okay, let's just keep him busy for now. And start to dismantle that ship. I think uh, yeah, two warheads should be enough to dismantle that ship. We just have to wait until the production is up and running. Now let's go. That's rude. Oh, they kissed in the air. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Maybe I should just uh, it upgrade this to a shotgun and wait for a moment until my sniper is ready and then proceed to the launch. This should do it. Oh my dude! What are you doing? Absolutely not cool. Yeah, they got no AA right now, so let's make it count. Oh, that's going to be great. That's their boat. 
Great job, crew. Now let's get back on course. Hey, what's happening? You had to do it the hard way, didn't you? Oh, we're getting bored. Such arrogance. Mayday! Mayday! This is Captain Mary of the Uranus Deliverance. Connection lost. Well, odd ending message, but okay. Okay, so we got devoured by another ship. And that's the opening mission of the High Seas DLC. Five years later. Captain, do you copy? Captain Capacitor, come in. Oh yes, sorry Admiral, please forgive my absent-mindedness. This area is... Where your father has disappeared? How long has it been? Almost five years ago now, sir. Vanished without a trace. Terrible loss. He was a great man, but I know he'd be proud of the man you've become, Captain. I guess so. I guess so, sir. Listen, maybe he fell into one of his portals again and will re reappear at any moment. On to more pressing matters. We've detected a stranded ship east of your location. Investigate with caution. Ah yes sir, you can count on me. Earthwork Games presents... Forts High Seas. Let's jump straight into this second mission. A weird distress call. Interdiction. Flood Sam and Jet Sam. Protect escaping merchant ship from pirate threats. Don't lose any containers. Destroy the reactor without destroying an energy dome. Overwhelm instead. Okay. Come to the aid of a stricken tanker. Sounds easy enough. We are coming up on the location of the stress signal. Captain Capacitor of the UNS Defiant here, identify yourselves. Thank the Lord, Captain Fraser here, my ship has been crippled. There was a blinding light, and when it cleared, the front of my ship has been vaporized. A blind light and mysterious damage? Sounds like you had a big night, last night. Aye, and if that wasn't enough, there is a pirate ship on the horizon. What do we have here? Two vessels for the price of one? Such bountiful seas! My mortar team has been bombarding them all morning. But they've got some new fangled energy dome protecting them and I'm just about out of ammo. Hmm, I see. Leave it to us, we should be able to take out their dome tech. Which will leave the way clear to destroy their reactor. Unless we're going to be an overachieving douche like Mulgaris and we're only going to clear the bonus objectives. Captain, head to east and try to make minimum safe distance marked by this buoy. Aye aye, we've only got one fourth power but we'll do our best. Epic music kick in. Battle stations. Okay, we got this tiny little <laughs> plank of a vessel, but it'll do. I love it either way. Oh, it's very cute actually. It's like so compact and so stuffy. It's very nice. Okay, so let's start building up. They'll probably be using mortars to attack us. Most definitely, actually. So, ooh. Machine gun, sniper, and incendiary mortar. Like, I love these kinds of missions. Like, it's the first mission, and they're like, yes, basic stuff for now. But it's going to get a lot busier later in the game. Don't you worry. You'll get your entertainment. They don't seem to be doing a lot except for building more propellers. So we'll simply do the same. And stack up. All in good economy. Build some basic anti-air. Because we either win the mission by having them escort past the safety bio or destroying the pirate ship. I'm going for the second option because it's far more entertaining. 
they got a second energy dome right in operational so we need to pace our mortars motor pacing is a great way to uh, make the enemy anti-air less effective particularly if they have a little flag and they are exposed so they will fight any air projectile you can prioritize weaker air projectiles to give to make room and space for strong ones to get through the enemy defenses Speaking of which, they've begun their assault. This is going to be my three mortar nests, little thingy. I don't think we have we don't need that many smokestacks. In fact, we actually don't need that many smokestacks. Just make sure the merchant ship is protected. That's all there is to it. Let me just uh, build you over here a third little machine gunner as well. To make sure they are well protected. I am put a lot of energy though. Ah, you missed. Idiot. And you're supposed to be hard AI, eh? I mean, their pacing is pretty good. Okay, I'll give you that one, no problem. Now it's my time to shine. So how do we pace? Let's first determine our angle. Let's see if this hits the core. And this will get shot down by anti-air. Okay, that's a little too strong. How about 67%? That was on the right course of the core. So let's pull that angle. Yeah, my anti-air is also doing their work partially, which is not the ideal situation. So let's keep pacing. Okay, this actually, with the tools given, this is legitimately challenging. Because if I don't pace properly, I will not be able to successfully complete this mission. They're still pretty far from the boyo, so I'm not really concerned about that. Uh oh. I hope that does not kill you. Not my intention. Whew! Nice, alright. That would suck. But they are repairing the boyo, which. Oh, we, okay, I had to flag. That's pretty good. Yeah, next time the spine hits the boat itself. Or the core itself because an exposed core you only need one good hit on that noggin of theirs and that core will be all blown up so let's start working on that still a while until they reach the bio let's get another battery over here and upgrade our smokestack one at a time of course so we still have enough energy to fire up our mortars Oh, you guys are really running on one fourth of your power. The exact amount of power I need to complete this objective. Close. Okay. A bit more firepower. You do. You a bit less firepower. Alright, that was pretty great. And we didn't even destroy a single dome. Oh yeah, the front was very armored. And that's... Bye bye, Mr. Pirate. Let's move on to the next mission. I hope we get domes as well. Land vs. Sea, Dry Dock. Sink Pirate Defense Dock, then Siege Ship. Alright. Win without building more than one warhead. Mm-hmm. Shoot down a redirected warhead. Huh. Use swarms and warheads to take out the pirate siege ships. Unlock stone deck. With pleasure. Ugh, we made it and not a minute too soon. I can't thank you enough, Captain. Is there anything I can do for you? Repairs and the find is all I ask. Then we'll be on our way. Aye, that's least I can do. 
<laughs> Actually, I can do you one better. Raiders have been terrorizing us for months for oil and supplies. If you help protect us, we'll upgrade your ship with dome technology. What do you say? You've got a deal. Show us where the guns are. Ah, there's just a wee problem. We don't actually have any guns. Just a workshop and some old silos. Now you tell me, we'll have to make it work. Here they come. Okay, let's get this over with. You know the drill. Give us your oil and we'll leave you breathing. Get your own drills. The oil stays here. Dread, a siege ship armed with heavy artillery. And being shielded by a defense took with deco tech that redirects swarms and warheads. We will need to take this out if we want to land a warhead on that siege ship. Oh, so that's the main by shooting down a redirected warhead. If we can connect this disused bunker, we can make use of the swarm missile silo. Uses the, using the upgrade center, these swarm silos can be upgraded to fire destructive warheads. There is also enough space to build a couple more. Battle stations. Okay. This is a classic ground to sea battle. I am looking forward to the results. But for now, let's start building up our forces. Grab this turbine. Going to build a mass of machine gunners over here. That if we eventually have to redirect our own warheads, it'll be shut down, we get the achievements. Oh yeah, also dome tag is pretty useful. We will probably fight a lot of anti-air in this mission. Oh, they are not very efficient. And let's start getting our tech up. Okay. Signed off this metal increased our economy big time. So let's put that to work. Right, what are they up to? Oh, this is like a non-offensive ship, it appears. They got some AA to protect the main ship, as was discussed. Okay, good to know, good to know. Those are like two brothers, really take care of each other. Good thing, because they are going to die pretty soon. I'm going to sell you off. It's just for better and more stable position over here. And there we go. And reinforce our bottom. See, nice and stable, as all bases should be. Yeah, our arsenal is indeed very limited. So let's get these swarm missiles out. Let's wait for a moment, save up, and plop them down. Sell you off so I can make a nice little row over here. And open up you guys. Can I upgrade you? Yes, I can. Wait, of course I can. What am I saying? They'll probably be using cannons or 20 mils. No, they're using 20 mils. Energy up. Two saddles are not that bad. 
I'm going to do this though to guide them into the right direction. Would not want them to hit my own base now, do I? Okay, so one can be an AP sniper and the other one can be a regular sniper to give our missiles a little pointer, you know? Give a little direction in life. And since this is a missile based attack, lots of batteries and lots of windmills are required. Sniper numero unos and sniper numero dos. And upgrade our mines. So, where are you guys at? They haven't done anything. Ooh, a dome. A free kill for me, I suppose. Sorry brother, but there is no points objective saying I can't destroy domes. Slightly higher. Slightly lower. There you go. Third times charm. Drop you down here. And... No, not yet. I'm going to get this one to a warheads. And see what the results are. Let's build you up steadily and one by one. So when are your siege rapids coming out, buddy? Don't see a lot of those right now. Oh, I can build a fifth mine. Now I'm starting to get worried actually. They might have something else cooking up for me. I'm creating those turbines. And move up our shield line by constructing this and then selling this off. I'm building good mills over here. And keep this one down and suppressed. Okay, now let's see. Now let's take out this redirected war, shall we? Well, okay, great start, but we were supposed to shoot that one down, alright? Not you, me. But I appreciate you uh, taking it out. Oh, there we go. Not very effective, I will admit. But at least you know their 20mm guns are up now. Let's shoot you once again. Great. Open fire. That's that redirect war that I was talking about. Okay, let's upgrade you. Ooh, they got a machine gun. There you go. 
Okay, you guys have served your purpose. Now let's, let's take out that gosh on from boots. Can we hit something important in their belly? Because that's only one armor layer. That would be very nice. Oh! Ho ho! Of course we can. That thing out of the way. Oh, that's rude. You just pressed the rude button. Allow me to return the favor. I can press the rude button too, you know. not very effective. The thing with the 20 mil can is that it is more dangerous up close and far away. So they are basically using it wrong. That's what I'm all I'm saying. Ow. Well, this is eye for an eye. Okay, yeah, those nukes do have to get through in order to defeat the enemy. Once again, you sniped my... One dude that can take out your ship. Could you please not do that? It's very annoying. I want to win. Well, yeah, that's an overwhelming number of uh, swarm missiles if you don't deal with them properly. And they basically have been crippled, so let's get these in there to finish them off. Yeah, not very good. Oh yeah, this is not enough anti-air for this one, buddy. I appreciate your motivation, but I'm sorry. This is simply not enough. Okay, they are below 50%. Maintain damage dealt using your minigunners. They are not very effective at this long range. Oh, that was a little too high. I was hoping to soften up so my missiles could reach deeper. This is fine. GG, pirates. And this oil derrick is safe and ours. This is also all the time I got for this episode. Oh, that was pretty fun. Let's see what's up next. That dome! Build load to protect against aircraft drop munitions. Create a temporary barrier against destructible projectiles. Requires a workshop. Okay. Alright, that was pretty fun. The next episode we're moving on to the squirrel. If you like what you saw, might like the video and subscribe for more content. That is all, I'm your host Malgaris and I'll see you next time. Bye!